hotep, hotep, hotep. That's my attempt to clown the hoteppers because they sound ridiculous. So why did I got why did I get rid of my chakras? So I got rid of my chakras because first and foremost, I got rid of my chakras because I realized and learned after I learned it and I thought about it, I realized that this person was 100% correct and that <clears throat> I got rid of my chakras. And um, I got rid of it ultimately because I realized just how poisonous that whole, uh, you know, getting, uh, how, how serious getting rid of the chakras really was. It, it, it's definitely a necessary point or factor. A lot of times people come into the community, right? The communities of spirituality and science and new age science of magic and mysticism, and they think that they have to do their chakras. That's actually not true. And it's actually a, a, an unadvised thing, you know? A lot of times, when, you know, in my in my past couple of videos, I, talk, I talked about um, getting rid of the chakras and stuff like this. And you have these, you, you know, you have these fake spiritual gurus or people who make it seem as if they know what it is that they're talking about, chastising me, talking about, oh, you know, for somebody who claims to be, you know, tr basically implying that I'm not spiritual for, uh, for talking about how you should close your chakras. First and foremost, when you have your chakras opened, you actually develop, you actually call to you spiritual parasites because you're giving your energy away. When you have, when you have your chakras spinning clockwise, what happens is that you're giving energy away and your chakras, when you open them and you develop them, they're spinning, they're spinning, excuse me, clockwise, which means that you're actually giving your energy away. So not only are you giving your energy away, making you more and more sick, doing damage to yourself, you're actually creating spiritual vacuums, right? Or holes in yourself. And that what happens with that is you have spiritual parasites, whether it's spiritual parasites that on an astral aspect, right? A dimensional aspect feeding off of you, right? Your own thoughts start draining you, feeding off of you, right? You start having more dangerous and, and, and more destructive thoughts feeding off of you, or it's a situation where you have parasites in the form of people. You have parasites in the form of people coming to you over and over and over draining the energy that you are essentially giving off being parasites off of you and every time i speak to an individual who have who has done chakra work they tell me that they've been having all these problems and it gets worse and worse and worse every time they do their chakras the the amount of long-term damage that it creates is something that you know, they really start to get very um, suspicious about as well as they start to get worried about. One of the people who I was speaking to said that they they felt like, you know, they they were going to have an aneurysm. Another of them has some sort of stomach problem. OK, so for all the people and stuff like this, right, who who have told me that who I've essentially helped out with the chakra service. Um, they feel great. <laughs> you know what I mean? They feel great. They got rid of their chakras because the entire body is an energy generator. You are your own energy generator, right? You generate your own energy from sustenance. So you don't need supposed extra energy, right? As far as in that manner, right? Trying to make, you know, do all these so-called spiritual practices trying to, you know, uh, emphasize something about yourself when your entire body is made up of that. When you go to 
an Asian uh, parlor that does acupuncture, why is it that they just don't stick one needle, one acupuncture needle in the seven places? So that would be seven needles, acupuncture needles and all. No, they stick those needles in different places wherever the energy or the tension is built up because that's just where the energy is, has, has had an overabundance is and it's, call, and it's causing an imbalance or a disruption in the body. So they stick a couple of the acupuncture needles there to get it to, to get it to, to get it to relax. Sorry, notification. They get it to relax, right? They don't have to, they don't do that stuff because they understand how dangerous that is. They understand that it's a trap. That's the reason why it is that all of you light workers go over to India and if you don't believe me, you can look it up. They go over to India and then they try to get with these with these uh, chakra gurus and all these chakra gurus have a crazy look in their eye. And they're telling you, yeah, we should invoke the chakras. And what happens, you see the individual that went over to India trying to become more spiritually enlightened and aware trying to start uh you trying to start taking control of their own reality and themselves what happens to those individuals they give up on everything they give up their house they give up their car they completely give up on everything which is goofy because you need a certain aspect of luxury in order for you just to be able to get around your day-to-day -day life right because if you don't have a place to stay you're going to be sleeping on the streets unless you're unbothered by that stuff but they gave but they gave up on all of that, right? And then what happened? Now it's you you see them putting on all this this paint all over themselves, all right, start smoking uh a weed, and then they basically have the you know the crazy look in their eyes as they do chakras. And it's getting and the and the psychosis for them is getting worse and worse and deeper and deeper. And for all you smart individuals who try to imply that you're disappointed in me, miss me with that nonsense because you cannot shame me. I don't care about your miscellaneous trying to shame me type tactics because you sound freaking ridiculous joining, a basic, joining basically a school of thought that ultimately turned out to be a cult. Because all the people who do their chakras you know, you notice that a lot of people who do their own chakras religiously every single day or very often, they have one person to basically kind of um, regulate over that. And those people never seem to actually ask any kind of questions as to what changes this is doing to their body. They, they, those those types of people, you ever notice how it is that people who are light workers who practice all the chakra meditation and stuff, they, they, they seem to lose, they seem to lose more and more and more intelligence and awareness of what's happening here. And they, and they start to think from a hive mind that one person is thinking for them. Then you had another person, right? Then you had another clown. I can't even call this person a clown because a clown has spiritual implications to it. But then you had this, 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 this whole tepper, right? You had this whole tepper go ahead and be like, oh, well, not doing your chakras will give you all sorts of blood poisoning and blood this and blood that. Let me disprove that. If you had to open, if you, if, if something, there's only closed and open. So if you had to open your chakras, that means by implication, it was already closed. And if it was already closed because you had to open your chakras, what were you doing that whole time before you started opening your chakras? And if that was the case, if not having your chakras open was so dangerous, how many years have you people lived to tell the tale while your chakras were closed? Don't you think you would have been gone, finished by now? But this is what I mean when I say you got you got these you got these people who don't know what they're talking about constantly riding 
constantly writing. I was going to say something else. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be calm. Constantly writing the coattails of an individual who knows what they're talking about, but constant, but and has practices and enough experiences since they were a ch since they were a little one. Constantly trying to tell a person who is an an, an obsessimus, basically their entire life an obsessimus. They're trying to tell that obsessimus how it is that this person doesn't know what it is that they're talking about and this person sounds ridiculous and trying to constantly debate something that is facts because they're so like caught up in the the cult not occult but cult mentality of you need to open your chakras so then why is it that all the people who open their chakras seem to be messed up and they're getting more and more and more so the more they do their chakras. Just a thought. So if you like to find out how to close your chakras, okay, and stop being like some of these people who think they know everything and really save yourself all the dysfunction that comes along with the chakras, because my chakras have been closed for about two months now, and I don't have any kind of you know, dysfunctions in the sense of, you know, blood bacteria. My, my blood type is O negative. There's no diseases in my bloodstream. What are we talking about? So if you like to come and find out the real, why you should get rid of your chakras, right? How to get rid of your chakras. I do do a chakra service. You can most definitely contact me, Kareem Spirit Works at yahoo.com. Um, and I even have uh, some people who came through and got the uh, chakra service from me, how to get rid of the chakras. If they see this, uh, they could go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. They'll tell you. They'll tell you themselves because I have evidence as, uh, from someone and they know who they are. In Aquarius, they know who they are. I'm not going to name their name or even imply. But they even said that what I was saying is 100 percent correct, you know because their spouse was telling them how that's not necessarily a good idea. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Peace. Hotep.